special Gundam Battle Hour Operation 2 featuring the Jagged Doga QA, a support version of the Jagged Doga, known for being piloted by Quest and appearing in Char's Counter Attack. It is in this game a 650 cost suit that is ground and space capable with a ballistic resistance of 30 and a beam resistance of 30, a melee resistance of 10, a range strength of 50, a pathetic eye throw pillows at the enemy melee strength of 0, a movement speed of an OK 125, and a thrust gauge of 65. For parts, we have close range of 10, medium of 20, and long range of 18. This suit is designed for basically being a mid-range support. <laughs> Yay. It has, for options in the range, you have Quest's Mega Gatling Gun, which is a heat-based weapon. Even though I would suggest, if you have it available, you use the GD, the Garadoga Commander Beam Machine Gun. It in my opinion is just better all around you can charge it to get stuns it has better range it's just the better option we have the heat knife beam saber it's a nerf bat there you go we have the small missiles times six which are dumb fire they fire directly forward and hit anything they come in contact with or explode on anything they come in contact with. We have the Mega, Co Mega Particle Cannon, which is in the shield. Your shield does not count as a shield, just so you know. It does pretty decent damage. It has okay range. It is a mid-range support, so it's a bit of an oddity, but it does okay damage-wise. And it does seem to come up a little bit more often than you'd think in a match. Then you have the Funnels Time 6 Pincer. They go to the other side of the uh, unit that you've targeted and fire. Then we have the Funnels Time 6 Surround. Effectively, they just kind of go behind a unit and shoot them in the back. For skills, we have High Performance Radar Level 3, High Performance Scope Level 3, Observational Data Link, Frontline Support System, Scouting Parallel Processing Device, High Performance Aerospace Gimbal, Anti-Stealth Level 2, which is uh, not bad. High Spec Ambac Level 2, Forced Injector Level 1, which is nice to have. Special Leg Buffer Level 2, Special Left Arm Equipment Buffer, that's the arm with the shield on it. Shoulder Buffer, Beam Diffusion Shield, which uh, when you're charging up your mega particle cannon on your shield it will decrease some of the damage damage control which is nice to have and defense mode which is something i will never ever remember to use in any match ever and that's level two um as per my opinion of this suit uh it's a mid-range with not really any bite to back up being in the mid mid game in case someone decides to come over and high five you violently in the face it's not a terrible unit but it's a very meh unit in my opinion but it might, might be one of those things that just doesn't jive with me so let's see how it does in the match to come hello everybody and welcome to the match i'm not going to lie this was from one of the uh special situation battles and uh, I will admit that I've been having nothing but trouble getting matches recorded on this game. As it uh, doesn't seem to be willing to uh, give me matches. Uh, I don't really like to spend an hour sitting there waiting for one match. Where half my team decide to scatter to the four corners of the map. But complaining aside... We're going to start this match out by charging our uh, Make a Particle Cannon and looking for someone to uh, discharge it on, you know, like a neighbor would. So we're out here, we see our friend, we're going to get him in the leg, switch over to the Mega, uh, the Salt Gatlin, and we're going to empty that. It, empty, it just doesn't feel like it has enough shots in my opinion, but maybe that's just me. And we're going to use our funnels to... Uh, Try to throw some extra damage in, switch over to the Gatlin to at least pick at somebody. And we're going to start charging the cannon up again. Um, 
I'm trying desperately to provide support for my team and also not mess them up as we get that nice nearly 5k. Finish that guy off, start throwing some damage downrange again. Just firing the missiles just in the pursuit of hoping they hit something. Throw some funnels out. Um, hopefully not alert the raid that I am actually shooting at him. You know, the norm. Gonna get the shield off again, but we're only gonna take a shield, so we'll throw some of those shots down, throw some missiles out, and we're gonna move over to the funnels, fire them off. Oh, we're letting the uh, Alex have it, and there he goes. So we help tear him down real quick, charging the particle cannon, I'm trying to move up so I could help my dude miss, and then throw some shots in and try to burn that guy down a tan tiny bit. And uh, these are some very tight confines, and I'm not very comfortable with uh, my situation. And the fact that the lock-on doesn't want to do its thing as Mr. Kitty yells at me. Hello, Mr. Kitty. Um, so I'm trying my best to help hold things as much as possible, but I don't want to be overly aggressive in this unit, because it does not reward you for being overly aggressive. And... There you go, there's the connection thing, even though I'm at full connection. So I started getting a little bit worried about this match, as well as some others. Now, you can see those funnels did some pretty easy damage, and the beam gatling can too, but I still prefer some of the other elements. I'm trying to pick away as much as possible, weaken them, and maybe get some of them to push back so my team can take a better advantage of things. And, oh, there's the Alex. And I don't really want to be up front fighting him, so I'm just going to throw some of that into him. Throw some missiles and hope my dude comes up to give me a hand as we shove the funnels at his face. And uh, where is a little bit of spastic switching as I notice uh, this guy. I'm going to fire into him. Ooh, that was some nasty damage against that unit and um, I realized a couple seconds later that that was probably the raid and I was hoping not to alert him to my stupid presence but you know how that works out when you're a pudgy red unit of anger and we'll throw some of that out to the Alex try to burn him down get him there and I'm going to try to throw some support in for my guy, but I don't think this is a good situation for me. Getting pushed by two units that can just kind of stagger their shots. And there's not a lot I can do in that situation. Uh, especially since uh, I don't have an instant stun weapon on me. Because it forces you to use the, uh, the Gatlin. So, there's our first death. Not bad considering what we were able to do so far. So, we're going to respawn at our home base. We saw that A just got taken. So, I wanted to spawn a little bit further back than my team. So that I could hopefully be able to come up behind them and then throw some damage. And then I noticed this guy. So, we're going to use the funnels on him. Give him a very petty amount of damage. But, possibly push him back. And try to help our team... Uh, make him have a bad day effectively but they're gonna converge and uh well things are not gonna go well we're gonna switch over to melee hit the raid try to outmaneuver him and uh well we're just gonna keep trying but death knows we're here as well as the connective stability of the damn servers and uh well we're still alive somehow I don't know what he was thinking, but we're going to get some sneaky amount of damage on him, considering. And there's our second death. Thanks, team, for completely collapsing. So we're going to spawn in at the base again. We've lost a substantial amount of our lead. And our team's doing that thing where it spreads out for some reason. I'm going to come in, use my shield, and try to, uh, oh, well... Support my guy, but uh, <laughs> throw some funnels out, burn him down a little bit, get another lock, and then we'll use the Gatling to finish him off there. And then we're going to push back around and try to basically kind of finish this lad off. 
and get rid of him as fast as we can. We're going to use our funnels. And bam, he's gone. Then we saw this guy. And I'm not sure what he was doing, but he's gone now. And I noticed uh, my friend down here. So we're just going to throw some of that fire on him. Throw some missiles. And we'll use a lock to finish him off with the funnels. So there we go. We've uh, maintained the, the lead for the moment. And there's the disconnect thing again. Despite the fact I had full connection. And again... I don't know what's up with their servers, but they're really not that good. But, uh, let's... Well, we got over here, and things just kind of got a little weird. Firing, not doing damage, people kind of jerking around. So I thought, you know, yeah, I'm not really doing much, so why well, don't I back off a second? And, oh, there we go, some damage, nice. Uh, we'll try to support our guys as the servers try to make us have a bad rating again. And um, we're just going to pull back and try to waste time. I mean, there's no way I was going to get this guy, but man, it got close. So, there we are at the end of the match. Let's see how we did. I'd still prefer the other rifle. So, three spots. We lost... A guy on each team. Hmm, crazy. And second place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.